Yeah. Y'all know what it is, man. Your boy Rich. Everything. And JT verified. Out here on the highway, man. We about to make a little run to Lowe's. We got to get some uh, jigsaw blades um, to cut this panel board. We got we got a couple of jigsaw blades, but they're a little rough. We got some jagged edges on them. So we got to get one for wood. So we can go ahead and mark and these door panels up. What you think, man? You ready to mark the door panels up? You want to draw them? I draw the outside of them. You make a design on them. How about we do that? How about we do that? And then we just go through some stuff. And then we'll pick which one, you know what I'm saying, we like halfway. And whether or not we're going to go back with the original door panels. I mean, with the original um, door handles or, or not. How about that? That going to work. So that's what we going to do. We going to make some drawings on paper first. And then, because I got a drawing I already done draw now. And, but, you know, I, I just want to feel it out so we can meet each other halfway. And that way, you know, he like it, I like it. You know what I'm saying? Everybody like it. So, um, yeah, man, I'm gonna put this phone down, put my seatbelt on for what? So I ain't gotta get no ticket. We going to Lowe's, man. We gonna check out these uh, jigsaw blades. Y'all know, y'all probably say, man, why you ain't going to Harbor Freight? Why you going to Harbor Freight? I go to Harbor Freight, I end up buying a whole new jigsaw, man. So the one I got right now, Black and Decker, it's still working pretty good. I'm just going to buy some blades, man. So we can get this thing right here started. I already got rod. I already got um um the bits for the router, all that good stuff. So I show you that when we get back to the crib. You know what I'm saying? If it's too dark, then I just show y'all what I do have that we gonna work with. Cause tomorrow morning we on it again. You know what I'm saying? If y'all um checking this video right here out, go back and check the last video out. I put a front clip. Off of the Chevy. Um, to, matter of fact, two. You no, know, I'll pull the front. You seen the front clip? Mm -hmm. What do you think about it? I like it. Different? But, yeah, that's what I was about to say. Yo, so we off in Lowe's, man. And um, we got to find some screws to go in the top. We're going to make this real quick. I was supposed to record us going down there to get this uh, blade, but then I realized we needed the self-tapping screws, and then they didn't have a blade anyway. So, now, y'all hold on a second, I'm gonna show y'all what we're trying to do. So here we go, we off in here, and we need, what we gonna do, cause the screws we got in there, the tins that we got going in there, they still good, but at the same time, with the way we putting this top back off in there, we're going to need these screws to lock down tight. So, we're going to go with about a, um, a 10 and 3 quarter be good, but we ain't want no Phillip head though. So, or a 10 and 5 eighths, 10 and 5 eighths. Look like it'll be pretty decent. So we're gonna get a 10 and 5 ace and then we're gonna get a 14 and 3 fourths. Right there. So we're gonna get these screws right here. We're gonna get these. And we're gonna get these. Check these things out. We gotta make another stop at Walmart because we gotta go find these these uh blades so uh y'all stay tuned man while we pay for this stuff here so me and two we got the uh screws that we needed for the top so we on, we on our way to walmart while we on our way to walmart we're gonna pick up we're gonna pick up um some uh let's take this mask off we on our way to Walmart. While we on our way to Walmart, we gonna pick up some dinner for the night. It's Friday night. I definitely don't feel like cooking, but we gonna get something healthy. So, two love chicken. So I guess we gonna pick up like some baked chicken, rotisserie chicken, or some kind of chicken for two. And then we gonna do a salad. So, we gonna take this trip over here. The Wally World. So, y'all stay tuned. And... We get the wallet world. 
We're gonna walk around in there, see if we can find this blade for this black and decker saw. And we can't find this blade for the black and decker saw. Guess what we're gonna be doing? We're gonna be at Harbor Freight tomorrow if Walmart ain't got something nice for us to uh, get and work with. So that way we can go ahead and get these door panels and stuff cut out. But we got the screw, showing the screws too that we got. What? This now? Again? And I had to look at them to see how long they really was, to be honest with you. But like I say, man, the 14th and 3 quarter right there. They got a little head on them. Um, but that, we got a little bit of depth to play with. Depth to play with. And we went with the 10 and 5 8. So, uh, only reason I got the 14, the 14 got a wider head on it. And uh, that top uh, with the 10s, you don't want that top to be able to slide around being that you can't put. You could put a washer on it, but you putting the washer on it, that's just extra. You know what I'm saying? What you putting that washer on it. So we just kind of want to put the screw in there so everything can be flush. You got to remember, you still got to uh, put your headliner in. So that's the thing on that, man. So. Look at him, man. Y'all stay tuned. I'm about to get on this highway, man. I'm going to buckle the seatbelt up. And we're going to get back at y'all when we get over here to Walmart. All right. Uh. Yo, so me and Jordan, that's our Walmart. And we're looking at these blades right here. $5 and, uh, $5 and 44 cents. So you got a, a 10 TPI which says it's for wood. And then you got a 14 TPI for metal. But now, the wood we gonna be cutting ain't gonna be that thick, you feel me? So, you know, we trying to find something mediocre, like right in the middle. And the thing about it is, Walmart used to sell Black & Decker, but now Walmart all on tough and hard and all this stuff so um uh, i don't know then they got a jigsaw down there 20 volt 54 dollars i feel like we can do better at harbor freight and uh, trying to be cheap or nothing what you feel like cheap? yeah we could probably do better so by the time we get back to the crib anyway we ain't gonna be able to cut nothing in the dark but guess what we do got groceries so i'm gonna walk right off and see they ain't got no more blades down here that's pretty much it that's pretty much it they done they ain't got no more blades i mean we're gonna we're gonna do harbor freight tomorrow man this ain't well nah this the thing They do got a hyper for like 20 bucks. It's actually $19. So, uh, you know what I'm saying? I want to look at the side of the box. And see what they got going on. I don't know. I, I think we're going to go with the Walmart hyper. You think it's worth it too? We gonna go with the Walmart hyper, man. So, good thing we did walk down. Now, I hope this thing come with a blade in the box. You feel what I'm saying? Cause I don't feel like running back to Walmart. And it says one wood cutting blade. So we scrape. We got one wood cutting blade in there. We gonna run with that. You feel me? So, your boy Rich, we got one wood cutting blade. We find us a, uh, hyper so we're gonna run with it we're gonna get up here to this register and go ahead and do what we got to do and get it out the way now the next thing the next thing we need we need it and i keep telling y'all man we're gonna get that pressure washer now watch this right here hyper tough they got that that right there for 88 right down but then you know you can go over there to Harbor Freight. Harbor Freight got one for like 70, 79. So 
uh, we gonna deal with Harbor Freight right now, so it is what it is, man. But look here, man, we gonna cut this camera off, man. We gonna get to the front, go ahead and pay for the stuff right here so we can get home. It's Friday night. Hopefully we'll be able to find us a decent movie or something so we can watch. If not, we're just gonna go out there. We got one more round of practice we gotta do tonight with Jordan, you know what I'm saying? So we gonna do that. Um, shoot around a little bit and then hit the shower, go in the house and eat a little something, man. I'm gonna walk over here, take a look at these wires right quick, cause I'm gonna wire up a whole new motor to um, the top, like I was telling y'all. But until then, man, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna say it like I always say it, man. Your boy Rich Everything, y'all know where to find me at, man. Uh, Rich underscore everything. What it a? And my boy. J dot T dot verified. On Instagram. So make sure y'all hit like on this button, subscribe, hit the bell for notifications. We working tomorrow too, man. Um, sorry to take us so so late. We out here looking for tools and all this other stuff, but we're gonna get it done, man. We're gonna get it done, man. Y'all just stay tuned. Alright? Your boy Rich, man. We out. So yeah, we find that, that I had to turn the camera around for a second. 3.5 amps, veritable speed. So, um, right now, I guess you got a knob you can turn the speed up or down. I like that. Uh, two free blade chains. Okay. I like this already. Let's see. Vacuum port. Oh, you see the vacuum port right there at the back. So we, we can hook up the um, shop back. And you know what I'm saying? While all that dust be blowing around, we ain't got to worry about that. So we loving that right now. Just hyper tough. Just hyper tough, man. Look at here. Just hyper tough bulk, man. And what's the, what's the price on that thing, too? $19.83 for the hyper tough. So we can go ahead and jump on that, man. We got our rotisseries, got our drinks stocked up. We got our salad for the night. Cause we eating healthy after this workout right here. Y'all stay tuned. I ain't gonna waste too much of y'all time. I just wanted to let y'all know why I was extending this video just a little bit, man. So I'm gonna show y'all the tools that we are working with. And I'm gonna show y'all this actual uh, jigsaw that we bought last night. Cause I pulled it out of the box early and put it back in. But I ain't gonna lie to you like, that blade I was looking for, that wood cutting blade. I'm going to go ahead and show you that because I left that out. This is the blade I was looking for with the little small teeth. The blade that I was cutting with before, it said it was a wood blade, but the, the teeth in it were so big and so jaggy. I just figured it was going to like eat them door panels up or the panel wood up. So um, let's go ahead and get into it, man. You know what I'm saying? Let me turn this camera around for you. So you you can see we got a whole lot, a whole lot of mess. Look, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna start off with the saw we got last night. Um, y'all saw me pick this thing up from Walmart. It was only like nineteen dollars, which I ain't gonna lie, you can't you can't beat that for nineteen dollars. But I'm gonna tell you what got me about this. And I don't buy tools. If you buy tools, I don't try to be cheap. But what got me about this was the make of it um before i even took it out of the box uh, a lot of y'all may just like you know whatever you like but the thing that get, really got me about it was when i saw you can control the speed on the box because sometimes when you cut in certain things you know what i'm saying you don't need to be moving all that fast if it's not all that you know, like like the panel boy, we cutting for the door. So I don't need to be cutting that super fast. <clears throat> I just need a clean cut. And, uh, you know what I'm saying? With variable speeds on here, I can actually get the way I want to. Another thing I like is, with this thing is, when you get the cutting, you can push down on it. You know what I'm saying? Instead of having the, you know, get off the button, you can continue going around. Because it's still, the button is still engaged. Hit it, it unlocks. Um, now, most of your, <clears throat> most of the, I, I, most of the saws I've had in the past, 
you can look down in there and you can see where that little notch is right there. Right there. I love how they have that made because you don't have to guess. Uh, you just you just line everything up in the slot right there, and it's gonna tell you exactly where your degrees is. What you know, what I'm saying where you cutting that. So I'm, I'm I'm loving that part. Um, your blade, as far as putting your blade in, you ain't gotta be sitting there looking for no flathead or no uh, Phillips. You simply mm, back out a little bit. You just simply push that right there, slide the blade in, you know what I'm saying, and you good to go. So, uh, yeah, I think I'm going to like that that tool right there. Ain't no thing. I, I know I'm going to like that tool right there a whole lot. Uh, and I'll put this stuff up a little later. I'm just going to push it to the side for, uh, for right now. <clears throat> I just sat there, man. I'm... Did I drop the, I, I don't know, I'll find it, I don't know, drop the blade in the box, but, uh, another thing that you can see, and right here, uh, what I went out, and I've been had this right here for a minute, you might have saw this on a whole nother video, but, uh, Walmart product, um, actually great, you can see it's already open, uh, the wife used it to, uh, she was putting up a dresser or um, either a bookshelf or something, but she used it to actually put the panel on the back of it. And you know, she was sitting there. She was like, "Oh, that you know that that thing's pretty. It's pretty strong." But uh, yeah, you know, you can see right here. You got your staples and you got your nails. Um, you, I'm gonna end up using both. You know what I'm saying? Especially with the interior stuff uh, on the back of the door um console all that stuff like that right there so uh you got your t50 staples that can go in here but i'm gonna show you a little something and then you got your 18 gauge nails that can go in there but what i did was and, and here, here it is right here. i'm gonna show you again the arrow uh on and off switch at the back so therefore you ain't just when it's just laying around you know what i'm saying ain't always on so you can flip that switch at the back. You can turn it off. Um, you do have to have uh, your piece pushed down pretty good in order for that thing to, you know what I'm saying, start shooting some some nails or staples or whatnot. So we lay that to the side. Now, the reason I say I'm going to go ahead and <clears throat> put that right there to the side because when I went, if you notice, like I showed y'all last night, man, Hyper Tough taking over Walmart. Um, and ain't nothing wrong with that, but, you know, I'm just saying. So, uh, you know, this is my first time actually using the tools like this. But back to the message at hand, you can see right here why I, I just I just bought the big pack. Two of the big packs, you know what I'm saying? Instead of running back and forth to the store and doing all this other stuff, I, I bought two of the big packs. And it comes, as you see, with three different varieties, you know what I'm saying, 660, 670, um, and my bad, um, 516, 3 eighths, and 1 half, um, so depending on what you are working on, you know what I'm saying, how uh, wide of a staple, how, how deep you want that staple to go in there, then, you know, <clears throat> that's why. You, that's why I got the variety pack, because ain't no telling. Like, because I'm going to be doing my door panels. I'm going to be doing my um, my console, my door panels. I'm trying to do something three-dimensional. So, uh, just getting everything, like I say, in line. Like, this is old. And I ain't going to say old. Because it, it's just scraped up a little bit, because I had it in the storage. But this Stanley right here, this Stanley ain't never gave up on me. And this is uh, um nice staple gun right here you can see on the back where you can actually turn up the uh tension you know what i'm saying put a little bit more pressure on it so um yeah good one switch on the bottom you can turn it off um so and I, i'm thinking i got this from walmart too but uh it's been a while for this one right here this is this is actually this was with me when i did the interior in the car the first time around so that blue and silver you see in that, I used this staple gun 
um, when I was doing that interior. <clears throat> Get down in this thing right here. Nothing serious, but you know, you start doing a little cutting. All the other stuff, you want to be precise. Um, so I just got me some little, a little 13 piece. You know what I'm saying? This Harbor Freight. You know what I'm saying? So that way, when I start cutting my uh, material or whatnot, uh, I can go ahead and get a clean cut. These blades right here are real sharp. I can tell you that. I already didn't use them before. Um, on another little project I was doing, like I say, super sharp. So, you know, mad shout out Harbor Freight. I think this right here was only like, if I'm mistaken, this was only like $3 when I went and got this from Harbor Freight. But yeah, just anyway. Check up on it yourself. <clears throat> Show y'all a little something. something. And this Autobahn. Crazy stuff right here. So, with this Autobahn, man, I ain't even gonna lie, man. Um, I was working with a poster at the time. And I just saw him using the, bl the glue and the spray. And I was like, man, what in the world? Like... Why is it drying so fast? And it sped the process up because you don't have to sit there with like Gorilla Glue and clamps and all this other stuff. So if you're trying to put your consoles and different stuff together and you're trying to get like a, a nice uh, bond real quick, this right here is some good stuff. Um, I actually went online back on eBay is where I found it um, to order uh, two more cans of this stuff right here. And you can see by the size of my hand, like, the can ain't big, but it don't take much. I ain't gonna lie. It don't take much, like, because I, I already used it. You know what I'm saying? The bond on that right there is crazy. So, if you're gonna buy this stuff right here, you're gonna use it, man. I'm gonna suggest y'all put some gloves or something on, but and to each his own, man. Uh, got my screws. You can see right Let me see if I can... I ain't even opened up yet, but just some screws, man. And what I'm going to do with these little small screws is I take these screws right here. And these will be the screws that uh, when I do my three-dimensional uh, stuff to go on the door out of the uh, three-quarter wood or whatever it is that I use, I want to be able to fasten that stuff down tight. I don't want nothing falling apart. So um, those will be screwed down from the back. Um, these type of screws I got, you know what I'm saying? Uh you can notice the head on them is different. You know what I'm saying? Got your little star key head. I like these because these right here, when you when you get ready to fasten these things right here down, they go. And they, I am mistaken, I dropped that one, but um, it actually comes with the bit. So you ain't got to worry about buying the bit. Look down the hell, what else, what else? Got some more staples 18 gauge i got these 18 gauge staples oh these the nails my bad i said staples these the nails so there you go a thousand piece five a's you know what i'm saying uh nails I, i'm looking at it like the staples that's why you know i'm just doing too much if you can't wait then you need to jump on something right now uh home depot Home Depot is where I find this stuff. Dap Rapid Fuse. And this stuff right here um, is almost like the bond right here. But this stuff right here, you don't have any spray with it now. I will tell you, it doesn't take long. Like I say, 30 seconds, you good. So um, I just kind of like that one right there. A little bit better because I know the hold on that. I like this one. This does have a good hold. You know what I'm saying? I just like the, you know, it, it, I just like to work in a certain way. So, I mean, I'm going to grab one or the other. It don't make no difference. If you're looking for this stuff right here, this stuff right here was, uh, I think it's like $5 for one. So, I got three of them. You know what I'm saying? Because I knew I had this right here coming on the way. Like I said, I got two more of those on order. So, I'm just running through this stuff right quick for you. What else? What else? What else? Oh, I showed y'all yesterday when me and Toot went to Lowe's. So, 
Like I said, I ain't got a chance to get out there and mess with the top. The um, 10 millimeter bolts that actually go up in the panoramic roof. They cool. They work. Um, the heads on them, you know what I'm saying? They they will bolt up. Now, one thing about it is, uh, I want something that's gonna bite down. That's a, that's gonna secure that top. So, you know, that's why I went with a bigger head on the on the 14 gauge. So when that thing does bite off in there, it's, it you know what I'm saying it's there. Especially after I put that uh, put me a little bit of blue, um, thread lock on it. Um, but I did get. A smaller head which is the number 10 so you know what i'm saying to each his own i got the 14 because i felt like the 14 would have held it in a whole lot better you know the, uh with the diameter of the hole that you actually um drilling through and you see it's self-drilling so that's the thing about that getting through that metal or whatnot <laughs> with that being said you know yeah this thing here I did open this up. This right here is a Harbor Freight tool. Um, what would I be doing with the router? My three-dimensional um, designs on the doors. Uh, I will take the router and go around uh, my three-dimensional designs on the doors. Uh, when I get to the speaker box, all that type of good stuff. Um, door handles. Like I was saying, I might make a custom uh not the door hand well yeah you, you could say, i guess you could say the door handle instead of putting the chevrolet door handles back in there i was thinking about doing something custom so i may try it can't hurt i still got my old one so but i I will try something new you know what i'm saying or figure something out the, where i can actually make something that kind of goes with the design that um me and two gonna actually get together and draw up and <clears throat> No use to picking up a rider. If you ain't gonna pick up the uh, rider bits, and you can see right here where we got the set. So let y'all see a little something, something, something. What y'all got going on? D right here, this top line right here. If you gonna be using uh, or installing LED lights behind your door or, or behind the wood or whatever, and you don't want them to be seen, these are the perfect bits right here to use so you can cut that groove and then, and then you lay that led light down in there so once you lay it in there behind the wood and you power that thing up they looking for the lights but they can only see the color so um trick for trade i might just have to show y'all how to do that um i got some plexiglass in here i'm thinking about making me a nice little uh desk ornament with rich everything or raw or something on it you know what i'm saying um, so I'll show y'all how we go ahead and get to that. You know what I'm saying? I, I do that just to kind of test out the um, router too and see what's what. Um, these right here run off the curves, as you can see. So uh, I can tell you now I want everything to be kind of smooth. So I'm going to be using one of these round overs right here. Oh, or a chamfer. You know what I'm saying? Because the one thing I, I want to do is I want the uh, leather or the vinyl to lay down real good. So, um, yeah, just went ahead and bought the whole set, man. This right here was, I think that was about 20, 20, 30, something like that. I got the receipts laying around in here someplace. But, so we can move on, man, let y'all see the progress uh, that we trying to make, you know what I'm saying? So I can go ahead and get out of the way because I told you we was going to double time everything. So there you go right there. The majority of the stuff that you actually need, you know what I'm saying, when you're getting into uh, upholstering. Um, oh, yeah. Um, inside my um, tub over here behind me, excuse me, I do have a heat gun. So bim, bim, bim. And a, a lot more assorted tools inside my crate. Like I say, I like to be prepared. I don't like to do a whole lot of running around. When it comes time to do the project, let's go ahead and get it. You know what I'm saying? Uh, last but not least, bought another one. Right now, man, I got like three uh, machines in the house. Um, this right here personally. I bought this right here personally, man. Uh, or it was given to me. And I'll show you why, to be honest with you. Like, 
everything in my office is black. So with that being said, like once I, and excuse the junk and stuff over here, man, I was in here just kind of chilling and uh, trying to put some stuff away, this, that, and the other, organizing stuff and getting ready to get into an edit and some TV. But back over here, um, yep, you see it, that HD 1000 Black Edition. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get me a table. I'll be able to set all this right here up. You know what I'm saying? I got something else on the way. I ain't I ain't even gonna say on the way because it's already here. But um, you know, it's always each one teach one with me. So me, the kids, or the me and the family period, you know what I'm saying? We got something else that we uh got going on as far as building up our brand. Um so um make sure y'all do me one favor, man. Do me one favor. Follow me on, on Tailored Lifestyle on YouTube. You know what I'm saying? Um, I'm going to try to start putting everybody, all our separate YouTubes on um, the end of the video so y'all can actually go and y'all can follow the fam. There go that blade right there, sat in the box, voila. Um, so y'all so y'all can follow the rest of the family, you know what I'm saying? Because uh, that way I can let two upload his video to his channel um, from his perspective and I can do it from my channel, from my perspective. So... That's what, that's what, you know, that is that. But, and you can see right here, man, the stitching dial. Uh, just kind of showing y'all some stuff. Now, what I like about this right here is the adjustable thread. Tension control, which all of them have that. That's cool. But this built-in needle threader. Man, I don't, I remember see with my other machines, you got to lick the needle and prime put it through. I ain't got time for doing all that right there, man. I'm trying to get some work done. So that's the thing with that. Uh, and I really, 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 really want to let the cat out the bag. You know what I'm saying? But I think I'm going to do it on a whole nother video. And you know what I'm saying? Let y'all know what's what. Let me turn the camera around.